Hey everyone, this is Sue's Journal Adventures. I feel like I haven't been on here for ages. <laughs> I think it's only been a week, but yeah, it's it's been a bit of a strange week. Anyway, um, I'm on here to make a few little things. Because at the minute, I've, I've actually finished Cookies and Cream Journal. Yay! Well, she's not 100% finished because I need to tie the signatures in with some brown satin ribbon, which I don't have at the moment. But when she's finished, I will show you a flip through of her. Um, little tablet packet journal. Nope, still haven't finished that yet. <laughs> still working on that. Um, but sometimes I just don't want to work on a journal or a journal page. Sometimes I just want to make pretty little things, you know? Pretty little things like this simple so for all you beginners out there please don't think junk journaling is hard because it really isn't there are some parts of it that can get a bit hard and technical but you don't have to do those sort of things really you can just stick with the easy peasy things like me <laughs> um so little things like this this is made out of some packaging it was um just a, a sticker box basically, that I've folded the sides in because it had the rounded ends and I just thought, okay, I'll just fold them in and put some inside. So inside, it's just got a little squirrel hiding with some flowers. So it, it was just, that was the sticker packet. So I just basically folded it, covered it in paper and sort of stuck some stickers in it. Then I've got this. I didn't actually make this. I had this sent to me in a rack. But all again, it's just a bit of packaging that the person had cut up because it's quite good solid card. Um, they'd cut that piece out and that piece out and stuck it together. And all I did, I think they'd stuck the lace on and the, this tie as well. Um, all I did really were decorate the front. Um, but this is cute to stick in a journal. I think they just stamped the back with like a, a ticket stamp. Um, but you just pull that out and you've got quite a bit of journal space inside just to write secret notes on. So things like that, things like this. This is just um, a little pocket I made the other night just because I wanted to make some that bit of pink cheesecloth, book page, stamped... Um, coffee dyed bed sheet the, the tuft was dangling on that but it was dangling down and I didn't like it so I cut it off and I thought well I'll use it on my tag so there's that these are all really simple easy makes that you can you could actually make these in a variety of different colors and you can it something in a journal doesn't necessarily have to be what it is so like this is a pocket with a tag but if you were to glue it down in a U shape, you've also got another pocket behind it on the page. Or you can paper clip it in. You can decorate it differently. You could put loads of flowers down the side, little gemstones. You can put lace on it, you put words on it. You can decorate them in so many different ways. But depending on where you glue it in the journal, you can also make an extra tuck spot. So if you do a U, like I've said, you can put it in the top. If you were to glue it in a C, you could have a side tuck pocket as well. So you could have a tag coming out of there or there or the bottom wherever so things like this are fantastic to mass make and so so easy all i literally did was fold a piece of paper in half glue it down cut the thumb hole and make a little tag for it <laughs> decorate it was so simple things like this are pretty easy to make but they're cute and it i it's good to mass make because if you're making a journal i don't know about you guys but sometimes i get a bit overwhelmed with the the endless pages and oh gosh what can I do on this one now so it's if you've got loads of little things made ready it makes life a lot easier I made this last night purely and simply just because I wanted to make some I just wanted to craft and I wanted to make something small and pretty again it's just a piece of paper folded in half glued I cut with my square punch I cut a square out of it decorated around the edge put an extra bit of paper on so I've got a pocket on the back a pocket on the front 
and the worst tag I've ever made in my life. <laughs> I just had to put some in there and it's like, that is the ugliest tag I think I've ever made. But anyway, poor thing. Um, at least it's got a tag in it. But that was so simple. Very, very easy stuff. Um, another thing that we can make is these. Now, I didn't make this. I had this sent to me in a swap. But such an easy concept. It's This is made with double-sided paper. So you don't have to decorate both sides if you've got double-sided paper. But it's a simple just pull out. And you've got pockets. Um, she's put some fancy paper in there just to make it look a bit different. You can add pockets to the back. You can stick it down in a journal. Again, you can stick it in a C and have a pocket coming out of there. Or stick it in a U and have a pocket, a tag coming out of the top. Not a pocket, a tag. Um, and yeah, open it out and there's hidden stuff. So there's that as well. And then someone also sent me this which is really cool. So these are prototypes. I'm going to make some of these tonight. I don't know how many. It depends on the length of the video. But um, this is a really simple concept. So all they've done is put some like exercise book paper in there as a little pad. Very simple. A little bookmark they've decorated. Again, very simple, easy makes nothing hard about them inside is a little belly band with a picture coffee coffee dyed on the back another little pad but this time stuck down and then whoops oops, what's going on oh you're deciding to move what's going on okay stop it just stop it being naughty when i'm on camera it's not allowed Anyway, the other side opens and you've got some little stuff in there. Um, again, easy makes. Just a piece of card with a, another piece of card with a brad where you can move it. You could put a little picture or a photograph or a secret message behind there. And a little half pocket, just a piece of card with a pocket on with some little cutie bits in. So all very simple, easy to make. This one's decided it's going to fall to bits on me for some reason. I don't quite know why. Why it's doing that to me tonight. Oh, you've got stuck in there, haven't you? Okay. Right. So, shall we make something? Yeah, let's. Because I love making stuff. Well, I've already cheated a little bit. So, we'll do this one first. Because it's so, so, so simple. But then all of them are. They're all simple. So... If you're a beginner, don't get overwhelmed because they're just so easy and really great. Lovely, pretty little things. It all depends on the papers that you use, how many decorations you put on them. You could add lace, you could add flowers, you, you can add whatever you want. So you can make them. You could make 10 of these in one night and make every single one completely different to the other. So I've got one sort of folded already here and it is so simple, so, so simple. So can you see me? Do I need to just lift you up a little bit? Just ooh, get you right in there. There we go. So all it is is an eight by eight piece of paper. You can do this with eight by eight. You can do it with six by six. You can do it with 12 by 12 if you want. It's entirely up to you. And it is such a simple concept. So basically, I folded a middle line. So I folded it into a triangle because I'm going to have a middle line anyway. Then I folded this bottom bit in. Simple, just to the middle line. Fold this bit into the middle line. Fold this bit into the middle line. And you're starting to look a bit like an envelope now. Okay, fold this bit into the middle line and that's pretty much it. And then you fold it in half. Okay, and you're done. That is it. That is so simple. So for me, really, you can whack a load of these out and it's just then about decorating them and making them look pretty or you can not decorate them and just wait until you're making your journal and theme it to the journal that you're making but you can leave this as a pocket 
or like in that front one, I've tucked it down. So you can tuck it behind and glue it. And you can have that one in so that you can see what's on the front, what you've got tucked in there. The back one I left as a flap. I think I think the lady that sent me it sent me it like this actually. Or maybe both flaps were open, I can't remember. But yeah, so simple. That is it. And all you do is add your embellishments, put some nice ephemer in it, decorate the middle. You could do a belly band. You could do two little small pockets. You could add a notebook, whatever you want to put in it. But it's that simple. No cutting, no gluing. It's just done. So... That's that project. <laughs> Not quite. I am going to decorate it with you. Um, this one. Where's it gone? I've lost everything. This one. I, I want to make this one. So the, <laughs> this. I'd probably be better just getting a piece of card, wouldn't I? I'm faffing about with this paper, but why not? Let's try it with paper. It doesn't matter what it is, really. It can be paper or card. But I'm just going to make it with this paper. Because this paper's cute. It's got, I don't know if you can see it. Um, let me bring you down. Down, down, down. It's got like little sparkly bits in it. So it's quite a cute paper. We'll, we'll give it a go. We won't stick you into the back of beyond. We'll actually try and, you know, give you a life as something else other than a piece of paper. Cut it's weird. Um, so with this, I'm just doubling it. I'm just going to glue it. And that's just basically, oh, it's so warm in here, <sighs> just to give it a bit of a thickness. <laughs> I've actually shut the window behind me so my neighbours don't hear me talking to myself and think I'm weird. I've opened the window at the other end of the room, but I've only been in here 10 minutes and it's really, really warm. We've got an unusual heat wave in England at the minute. Um, in West Yorkshire, it has been boiling the last few days. And with my um, health issues, I don't do very well in the heat. So I'm pretty much permanently exhausted. <laughs> I do love the sun. When I was younger, goodness me, I used to sunbathe all day long and I was so naughty. I didn't even wear sun cream. I used to I used to put baby oil on. How bad is that? Like basting yourself like a turkey. Um <laughs> I don't recommend you do that actually. It's bad for your skin. Um yeah, so I've got my base. I don't know if I want this to be this size, or should I make it a little bit smaller? Because this is quite a bit smaller, isn't it? I am literally sweating now. I'd put my fan on, but it's downstairs in the cupboard and I really can't be bothered lugging that big thing upstairs. So where's my other scissors? My big, big scissors? My bigger scissors? These are supposed to be fabric scissors, but I keep cutting everything with them and I don't think that's very good, really. Oh, I've just realised, actually, this... Oh, well, it could be, but... Yeah, anyway... So I also need, which I'm going to use this other piece to make the little square piece for the top. I just might cut, cut that a bit straighter, she says. Not that I can cut straight, but it's got the like bent end, so I don't want that on it. Whew I've only got a blooming little thin strappy dress on as well. I am not going to sleep tonight. Oh, dear me. So I can't actually cope with heat anymore like I used to. When I was younger, I used to sunbathe all day. I'd get on them sunbeds at eight, half past eight on the morning and I'd be there till six o'clock at night. Now I'm lucky if I can do 10 minutes and then I need a cold shower. <laughs> age, eh? Age. Getting old and getting stuff wrong with you. Great. Right, so... I've got my base and I've got my top. So I think the next thing now really is a bit of decorating before I stick the middle bit together. And we kind of need to make this, you know, a bit, it kind of looks a bit samey samey at the minute, doesn't it? So let's get some ink out. And I'm gonna 
ink around the edges of my base. I think I might just do what this person's done actually. I could decorate it with some nice papers or I could use some lace on it or yeah, stickers, anything, washi tape. Ooh, washi tape. I've got some really nice washi tapes. Yeah, why do I, instead of stamping it, why don't I washi tape? Mind you, my washi tape's the wrong orientation. Oh, no, that one ain't. That ain't the wrong orientation. Oh, if I can get it out. Oh, I've just inked that and I don't really need to. Oh, look at that. Yep, that can go down there. Whoops. <laughs> might want to get it positioned right before I actually stick it down and I just know that ain't straight but never mind right let's just trim that off and then I'm going to you could do this with thinner rolls as well it doesn't have to be a big roll if you've got thinner ones you can just put a few rose on that's that's how good my coin is <laughs> it's really not good at all oh by the way whilst i'm on um i'm gonna upload this video tonight which is thursday um i think it's thursday the 8th of september <laughs> i don't know if it is anyway tomorrow night friday 6 p.m i will be doing the draw for my um thousand thousand sub oh, I can't speak thousand subscriber giveaway so i asked people on my last but one video to put their names on you still have tonight and tomorrow day to put your name on if you haven't got it on um tomorrow sort of afternoon evening i will be putting all the names into a spin the wheel um thingy and um picking a winner for the giveaway so it will be a box of goodies from my own stash but it will contain um pretty papers maybe some dyed paper i don't know um pretty papers some card uh, ribbons lace embellishments paper clips bulb pins and i've said embellishments a couple of bulldog clips uh, napkins doilies pretty much everything you need to to do and some stickers because i've got tons of stickers so yeah um it'll have a lot of nice things in it so yeah and tomorrow is the night can you believe it this week's gone really fast now this doesn't quite go to the edges but i'm not mm, i don't know which bit i want now i like that bit there um i'm not fussed that it don't go to the edges to be honest because it can ink it or i can stick lace down it or whatever to dress it up so i just get them so then it really is as simple as putting that on there but oh i've put that upside down nearly then oh just watch what you're doing so um is the right way sorry um yeah but we just need some paper first concertina i'm just gonna ink that a bit more so it goes on there it's not very easy inking washi tape because it doesn't always take it but so we're making this so that's my right way up okay um now then, string. Hmm, okay, I've got some string. Where's my string? Oh my gosh, where did I put that string? Oh, I know. It's in this box over here. That's buried under. Um, buried under stuff that I've printed out that I need to cut out. Oh, can you believe it? I've got a ton of stuff to cut out. I have to be in the mood for cutting out. I don't know about you guys. I can't just cut out unless I'm in the mood for cutting out. And then sometimes I can just sit and cut out for hours. Um, right. So. 
Oh, actually, I've got this funky stuff. I was I was out the other day and I saw a lady that I know and knew and she was just on her way to the charity shop and she was like, do you want any wool? And I'm like, oh, no, not really. I don't knit and I don't crochet. And she's like, I will just have a look in the bag and see if there's what you want. And she had this and I was like, actually, that's pretty cool for my junk journal. And it's got like little knots in it and it's got different colours, pink and blue and peach. So, and she had two rolls of it, so I got two rolls of that for free. I was like, oh, that's cool. I could have used that, couldn't I? Yeah, I think I'll use some of that as opposed to the, um, I've just cut that other stuff now, haven't I? Never mind, put them both over there. Right, oh, it's just rolled across the floor that way. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, roll. Okay, so now I need things not to start falling all over my desk. My desk is such a tip. I've actually cleaned my desk twice in the not lab, not this week, but very recently I cleaned it, made a mess of it again, cleaned it, made a mess again. Um, what am I looking for now? I'm looking for some paper strips oh do we have any of those yeah we have loads of those right i want a, a longish paper strip maybe do i just want one or do i want two i'll have two i'm gonna be greedy i might make an extra long writing space actually let's check this is the right size oh you little baddie you little baddie. Okay, have I got spinner? So as I don't have to cut, because I really don't want to cut. I'm a very lazy crafter. I don't like cutting if I don't have to. That's thinner. I only have that one piece, apparently. So many paper strips in here. Have I got any thinner? I'm looking for thinner. Seems to all be pretty thick and thicker. Oh, I think we're going thicker. Okay. Oh, is that one thinner? No. Oh, okay. I'll cut it then. I'm not very good at cutting, especially on the guillotine, especially something when I'm trying to get. Do I even need to? I don't know. How big? That looks a bit wonky to me. I think it's that in it. It's that washi tape that's um, stuck up a little bit. Okay, so it needs to go behind there. So I need to chop it up about there, I reckon. I don't know if I want both pieces, but I'm going to cut them anyway, just so that I've got them. Oh, right, um, where's my line? There. Four. Four. Four, four. I'm actually measuring. Can you believe it? One, two, three, four. Nearly on the five. Probably still won't be straight anyway, knowing me. <laughs> Either that or I'll cut too much off. But it doesn't matter. Right, so then it is basically just stick that to there. Okay, shall I do that before I think? Yeah, yeah, why not? Stick it down. Just stick it down. I've just ordered some new glue. I love my Fabri-Tac. I really do. I used to use double-sided tape a lot. And then just recently, I've looked in some of my older journals. And some pockets where I've used double-sided tape, they were lifting off. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I put too much on that. Um, that's, that's not good, is it? Yeah, you see, it only goes there. No mind. Um, so yeah, I've um, I'm not not very happy. I'm like I don't like double sided tape anymore. I used to use it all the time when I was a card maker, but now I'm like I'm sorry, but it's Fabri Fix for me. Fabri Tac, it does everything: paper, card, lace, ribbon, you name it. So all we do with this now is just concertina it. Backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. 
haven't measured this paper, so I don't know how many folds I'm going to get out of it. But it doesn't really matter, I don't suppose. I could add my other piece and make it longer. Do I want to make it longer? No, I don't think I do. And that's purely because I'm lazy. <laughs> oh, dear me. And I don't want this demo to go on for, like, too long because I want to do more than one thing. So, I'll put a bit of glue on there. Just on that bit. Whoopsie. She's got the drop itis tonight. What's drop hiders? I swear I just drop everything all the time. So there we go, done. Done. Does mine work as good as theirs? Hmm. Well, yeah, it's not bad. It's not very long, though. Oops, got a bit of glue on there, that's why. Oh, of course, I had the glue on the side, didn't I? Silly. Silly Billy, can you even see me? Sorry, you're all the way up there. You don't even know what I'm doing. So there we go. Another, la <laughs> Another lady made this. Oh, I can't even pick things up. Another lady made this little cutie thing. Um, like a ticket with a bit of lace. And I think I put that decoration and word on. But yeah, it just opens out. Cute. Easy little journal thing. You can tick tuck it in a pocket. You can stick it on a page and just have that bit pull out. Mine's not pulling out because I've put glue on there. Yep, I really shouldn't have put the glue right across the square, but never mind. Hey, one of these days I'll do a video without making a mess. <laughs> one of these days. Um, don't hold your breath. <laughs> right, so then I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to stick my funky stuff. I'll just chop that end off because it's a, it's a bit weird. Oh, wrong scissors. Wrong scissors. They don't like cutting stuff like that. Okay, and I'm just going to... That's quite long, isn't it, really? Oh, I've got a straggler on that end as well. Oh, it's come off. Okay, I just need a little tiny piece of washi tape. Doesn't even really matter what it is because no one's going to see it because it's going to be stuck down in my journal. Oh, uh, watch this be one of them. I can't find the end for three hours. Ah, oh, there it is. Got ya. So, there's my thing. Be nice if it was the same length. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it where, whoopsie, I put a bit there and a bit there. You could just do what the other lady did. I don't even remember who sent me this actually. And just put it across it. That's pretty washy too. Um. I think I'm just going to do all the lot. Why not? I've got washi tape coming out of my ears. Right, there we go. We're done. So that is that little thing. Whoops. And then you just fasten it up. Can you even see? Yeah, you can. Fasten it up. And we are done. We're kind of done, but we're not done. Because, oh, dear me, come on. Why can I not get hold of that? There we go. That's the worst bow ever. I think it's that knotty stuff. Right, and that is a bit long. The only thing that she's done extra is these. So she's obviously punched out some little dots and just stuck them together, one at either side of the string. Simple. Can I be bothered doing that? I think my hole punch is no, it's about the same size actually. Um, but these are a bit long, and then if I cut it off, let's cut it off. Let's cut it off. These scissors so a bit. 
the warmth. Um, I shouldn't complain really. We don't. Oh, I'm glued again already. We don't get sun that much in England. Oh, smoke flew out at me. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what it was. Right, let's... Oh, I need four, don't I? Do your math, Sue. There's two strings and you need two on each side. Put that down because I don't want it to fly out at me. Something did. I don't know what it was. Right. Oh, there's a hair dangling and all. <laughs> Do you forget those lone hairs that just dangle? They kind of have come away from your head, but they're still lurking. Right, I've got my little things. Just going to put some glue on them. Anyway, I hope you're all having a, a nice day, evening. It's evening here in England. Um, I don't know what time it is where you guys are, but whatever you are doing, I hope you're having a nice day. And that it's nice and relaxing and you're having fun. Oh, I'm going to get so glued on this. Put my string on there. Give me it top quick, quick. Give me it top before I stick myself to it. <laughs> my tops are, yeah, maybe, maybe not the greatest. But there we go. We've got a little dingly dangly thing on there. Uh, on me. And then I'm just going to stick you in that and stick you on top. That's easier than me trying to pick them up and stick to my fingers like everything else does. You should have seen stay at me the other night. All I made were that and I was covered in glue. Oh, guess what? I've done it. How do I keep doing that? It was worse than that, though. It was all over my finger. That finger were completely brown. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> Have I got it on? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, oh, he stuck to me again. There we go. We've done our first. Oh. <laughs> Only me. I've stuck it to the desk. There we go. You're free. Go, fly away. There you go. So that's mine. <laughs> that's the one the lady made, which is slightly better than mine, I think. It's neater. She probably took more time. But it just shows you can make it out of packaging. Um, I have got a ton of packaging. And every so often, um, I have an Instagram page called Sue's Journal Adventures, believe it or not. And I sometimes share things on there, just photos and pictures of things I've made and um, nothing exciting. Some little short reels of folios and stuff. Um, and yeah, I um, forgot why I'm telling you that. I actually really have forgotten why I'm telling you that. <laughs> Oh, dear me. <laughs> okay, it's one of those brain fog days. I'll remember, probably at the end of the video. I don't honestly know why I was saying <laughs> Oh, well, never mind. Let's go on to the next project. <laughs> Get myself out of this not knowing what I'm talking about thing. I actually really have no idea what I was talking about. That is so bad. <laughs> oh, well. You know, you know. So, I've got this. So, what I think I can do in here. Um, And, uh, by the way, if you are a new person, um, don't be sat there thinking, well, I don't have all these pretty papers. I, I, I don't have pretty thing, papers and things. Make them out of book pages. Make them out of book pages and decorate them with um, ribbon, bits of string, buttons, whatever you can find in your house. Broken jewellery, old earrings, whatever. You can stick anything on them and make them look pretty. So with this one, I need... Well, I'm going to ink it. <laughs> While I'm talking, it might remind me what I'm going to do, actually. 
Um, so for this, I think, I don't know whether to go for a belly band inside or whether to go for a few pockets. Um, what should we do? What should we do? I don't know. What should we do? Sound like them blooming vultures on Jungle Book, don't I? What are we going to do? I don't know. What are we going to do? I don't know. Let the chaff show, Sue. You should know. Mm. I don't know. Right. Okay, okay. That's what I do. And that's what I do. Right, okay. <laughs> I just wondered why I always got ink on the inside of my hand, but now I know. Now I know. Right, let's just put some ink pinky poo down there. And let's decorate. Let's let's make stuff. What stuff? I don't know what stuff. Um I need some card. Card? I've got some card. I got some card in there. Got a piece of that. that that'll do. It's totally, really a completely different colour, but oh, what do I want to do one, two, three, or maybe two? Well, I think I've only got enough card for two, so maybe it's just going to be two. Maybe it's going to be two and they are going to get cut by hand. Yep, doing all the cutting by hand tonight. Oh, dearie. That's not always a good thing. Especially when I don't have a guide. So that's actually not bad for me. <laughs> it's not bad. Right, so I need to take it down just slightly. So I will do that by chopping that end off. There we go, chuck you in the bits box. So that there. Ah, now then, I've just, or you could, you could put three pockets on there. You could layer them so that they're sat on top of each other. You could, oh, I'm gonna, you're gonna tell me I've got no more of that now, aren't you? Hmm, I've got another piece. Okay, is it? Is it big enough? Of course it is. Yay. How fabulous. Not often that happens when I'm crafting. There we go. So we've now got three. Three little pockets. I quite like that. Oh, I haven't inked the inside. Let me ink the inside. Because that's important, you know. It is. It isn't. If you don't want to do it, if you don't like it, if you don't like things inked, then you don't do it on yours. That's fine. I'll just go through the fold of this again, just for anybody who may have missed the first 10, 15, 30 minutes? No way. 20 min 28 minutes. Oh my goodness. I waffle way too much. Okay, so this is an 8 by 8 sheet of paper. Come on, let's speed up, Sue. 8 by 8 sheet of paper. You can fold it in half like a um, triangle. Take one side up to the half mark, the other side down to the half mark, and then fold your ends in. It's as simple as that. That is it. Your little folder is done. And you can have this as a flap that opens, or you can tuck it in, stick it down, whoops, um, and have it as two pockets at the front. I prefer the two pockets at the front and the opening flap at the back because it's just people immediately see what's there. So let's make these little things for inside. Not quite the same length. Does it matter? It would to some people, but it doesn't to me. I just don't really care. Right. Let's just do a little... Ooh, will it cut all three together? Yep, it will. Cool. That is cool. I've just got a little thumbnail doodah. 
and we're just going to put them in there and find some little things to put in. Should I put Nelvin? Should I put them like that? Or should I put them like that? But then all that's there. No, if there were different colours, maybe. But there's kind of not much distinction through them, is there really? If I've done them three different colours, it might look better because with these at the minute you can't actually tell it would just look like one big blur because they're all the same card um yeah so i still can't remember what i set off to say to you earlier no idea so yeah, you can jazz these up as much as you want. It's the same with anything. Anything you make for crafting, you can jazz it up as much as you want or as little as you want. Depends if you're a bit minimalistic. Then I really should use the thin nozzle. It just don't come out forever though. It takes forever to come out. Where's my pin? Let me see if my nozzle is actually clear. I put a pin in my other one. People have these glue pins. Yeah, I had a glue pin. It's now permanently stuck in there. I can't get it out. Oh, oh, just want to prove me a liar, don't you? I'm not a liar. Um, it was stuck in. <laughs> I think my probably repeated attempts at pulling it has actually made it come off. Oh, I feel like I can't see tonight. <laughs> my glasses feel like I can't actually see what I'm doing. Oh, it's this light actually. It's rubbish light. Come on glue. You see when you're doing videos and you're conscious of time because you don't want you. I think if videos are too long it kind of puts people off because I know for me personally my attention span these days is just not like it used to be and it's kind of want to watch things quick these days don't we? Technology has made us want things instantly. I want to see it. I want to see it now. I want to read it. I want to read it quick and short and to the point. So that's what I'm trying to do with my videos. But oh, that's the, that is the thinnest bead of glue. But hopefully it... Can you see me? Yeah. Um, hopefully it just works. I should move you down just a tad. Okay, let's get some glue on this because it takes about an hour to get the glue out of this thing. It is a fine tip nozzle, which is great. It just don't come out that well. So yeah, giveaway tomorrow. I can't believe it. This week has gone so fast. Every week goes fast. A, a week is like the blink of an eye now. And... Do you ever think to yourself, somebody will say, oh, have you seen somebody or did you do something? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did it a couple of weeks ago. And when you look in your diary, it actually want a couple of weeks ago or a couple of months ago. Because time just goes that fast. It feels like a few weeks ago, but it was months ago. I bumped into an old friend of mine today and I'm like, oh, wow. And we got chatting and I think with the COVID and everything, you know, we, we actually haven't seen each other for four years and I'm like, oh my goodness, can you believe that? She was telling me that her, her son's now 14. And I'm like, what? <laughs> we small last time I saw him. Yeah, COVID's kind of stolen a bit of our lives, really, hasn't it? It's weird. It is weird. Okay, I don't know if this is enough glue to glue these. I'm pretty sure I'll find out tomorrow when I come back to it and they've dropped off. But anyway, for now, for the purpose of the um, demonstration, it'll do. Oops. Right. There we go. So that's that side done. And um, what am I doing with the other side? Hmm. Oh, they're not in the same place. That one's more in the middle. They're slightly off it. Never mind. Um, all right, I want another piece of paper now. 
preferably something along the same lines as that one. But I just know that's not going to happen in this little box because I just kind of know it's already gone. Oh, I've got that. That's cute. I've been wanting to use these for ages and not really knowing what to do with them. Nope, there's no more of that paper in here. There is, however, some of that. No, I don't want too many different papers in here, do I? Okay, so because we're going on browns, I'm going to use this. I've been wanting to use this for a while with the brown. I could put a bit of cheesecloth behind it, but I think maybe not. Oh, it's got to be the brown one. Right, I'm just going to stick this to this. Okay, I'll stick it up near the top. Can you even see me? Good, good. I have a tendency to just go off and craft, don't I? <laughs> oh, good grief. Do you know, this glue. Glue Bob's Anonymous. Oh. Then you wipe it on a piece of paper and then the piece of paper sticks to your finger and yeah. It just becomes this battle between you and the glue. So let's get you on here. So we've only made one thing so far and we're on what? I can't see how many minutes now. My, my glasses won't let me see that at this moment in time. I'm not putting glue right across because I'm going to kind of add this hanging off the edge slightly like I was going to put it up there. There. Like that. That'll do. Oh, grief. Right. And then I'm going to trim it to wherever I need to trim it to. Oh. Oh. It actually fits on there. Okay. <laughs> Move back down. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Oh, you naughty little thing. You've stuck already. It has. That's Fabri-Tac. It's good glue. <laughs> really wanted it to move back down. Never mind. It does not matter. Okay. I'm making a belly band, by the way. I knew you all knew that, but I just thought I'd tell you anyway. So, yeah, I've really missed me. Um, I haven't done any video in this week. And I'm just... Yeah, I'm like, oh really need to do some videos really want to i'm gonna do some more tomorrow because um i've got the day to myself tomorrow i'm just gonna chill out and do some journaling yeah journaling and i'm gonna yeah chill chill do some journals and then at six o'clock i am going to do the big who's won yay um right so that's it pretty much i'm gonna decorate the front a little bit just because i've got all this what's happened there i think i've actually i think i glued my laces together um you expect nothing less from me um i think actually you know that's nice but i think i want something a bit more um brownie but a bit darker i think i'm just going in the drawer the drawer of whatever's gonna come out i don't know um kind of needs to be semi-thin i mean that's that's pretty but it's a bit too thick and you still actually can't see it really have i got a darker one something like that's too big too big, but it's a bit darker. Um, oh my goodness, there's nothing in here. There's got to be something in here. Keep over, there's got to be something in here. What about some of that? Nah. No, I don't like that. Um, oh, why can I not find anything? This is probably why people pre-prepare their videos, unlike me, who doesn't. That's okay, innit? You can see it. 
it's not the greatest and best lace it's some i actually coffee dyed so it's definitely not the best but it looks nice and you can see it a bit more it's cool it's only for a little bit of decoration so get a bit of glue on there can you still see me yeah do you want to come down a bit see me a bit better yeah i'm only putting glue on paper but you know you just might want to see that right just put a bit of that on there and oh, i really wish i'd put my hair in a bobble i've got quite long hair and it is not nice when it's warm like this there we go didn't like it when i can see the glue but it's only a little thing for a, a gel so we'll have that there and then we'll have a bit here oh we've got a big blob coming just loves doing them big blobs on me don't you hmm don't like coming out when I need you. But you love doing them blobs on me. Right, just put that there. Actually, it looks quite pretty, actually. Yeah, I just coffee dyed this just to... Because um, I bought a lot of white lace in different sizes. And then I just dyed them with coffee and food colourings and... Food colouring. That's it. Okay, so that's the front, which is quite pretty. And because I'm having that tucked in, that also means that I could put something there. Like that, because that's pretty. I had these sent to me, and I think I've only got one left. Oh, no. Um, Yeah, I'm going to put this on, just because I like it. And why not? You know, I've got a ton of stuff. I need to start using stuff up. I was looking at my stash the other day and compared to some people, my stash is not massive, but I looked at it and I thought, how many years would it actually take you to use all this stuff? <laughs> Quite a few, I think. Right, I need something pretty to go in the middle of there. So, oh, something pretty. Come on. Bling jar, bling box, I mean, jar. What are you on about, woman? And um, because I like these brown ones, <laughs> they seem to be the only ones I use lately. I'm gonna just put a tiny bit of glue in there. The glue has come through that hole a little bit, but I said a tiny bit, not a big massive. I've lost my tweezers somewhere on this desk. Can't find them anywhere at all at the moment. So I have to use these wonky ones that I bent. Did I tell you how I bent these? <laughs> oh, my days. Yeah, that was another one of my um, crafting mistakes. So I bought myself a little eyelet thing. It was only a cheap one for £3.99 in home bargains. A little eyelet setter thing so i was like okay i can punch all with it you can do the eyelets with it so the other night i was trying to make something well it was the other week actually punched the hole put the eyelet in tried to squash the eyelet and the eyelet actually stuck on the thing that sticks up on the eyelet whatever you call it machine um and i can't get it off the eyelet is actually stuck on the prong so I was trying to prise it off with my scissors I was trying to get it off with these so I then damaged these so they've got a, a bit of a wonky a bit of a wonky edge <laughs> so I actually broke two tools just trying to make some that I'm like oh dear me do you know it's like a comedy of errors in this house there we go that's pretty I think I like that I like that um, I don't know what I'm going to put in it. Maybe not on this video, but on another video we might make some stuff to put in it because I am acutely aware of time and I'm currently on 54 minutes. So maybe we'll finish this off together another day and I will put things in it or make things to put in it. 
And don't forget, we've got the pocket on the back, which I'm also, just before I go, I'm going to put some lace on there as well, because why not? Why not? Why not? Should I put that one or a different one? I don't think it really matters. Now this is something that you can just um, actually just tuck in a tuck spot in a, a journal. You could put it in a pocket if you had a, a large pocket and you needed something in it. You could put something like this on. So quite useful. You could even just decorate it and give it to someone as a gift if you put some little things in it some nice little things or maybe some photographs um there we go so i've not got done as much as i thought i were going to get done tonight whoops that's wonky but never mind we've got we've got a couple of things done Surprising how long it takes you to make stuff, isn't it, really? You're like, I make one tiny little thing and it's... Time's gone! Oh, no. Because, as I say, I don't really want to run over time because I do think people get bored of watching. She's been going on for an hour now and I'm fed up of her. <laughs> Just shut up, woman, and get on with what you're doing. So that is actually the back. Could be the front if you wanted. You could have it that way and that could be the back but that's the front of mine so i'm probably going to go off this video now and i'm just going to chop that off because that looks odd from the other side um and i will come back and maybe we will decorate this and find some things to put in it um and yeah i ain't got as much done as i thought but i have made Two simple little projects that are nice little things to stick in your journal. That can be tucked in. You could just paper clip it in, actually. Um, you could actually put... Oh, yeah. I could make... I made a, like a little writing set in my cookies and cream journal. Make a little tiny envelope, have some nice writing paper. Ink the edges, put a little stamp in the corner and put some little papers together. And it can be like a little um, writing set, can't it? Yeah, I think we'll do that. Maybe on the next video, because this one's... I'm going to have to call this a day with this one. But we will we will decorate that. And we will also, next time, make one of these. And possibly, maybe, one of these. Because they're so easy, really. Um, so there on the next one. What was the other thing? I had some else I was going to make. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, oh, whoops. We forgot about this dude, didn't we? We'll make that as well. Um, okay. So I'm going to go now. I hope you've all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to get your name on the, not the last video, the one before, where I think you can see me holding a piece of cream ribbon. Um, I don't know how to put pictures on the front of my things yet, my videos. But yeah, the draw is tomorrow at 6pm UK time. And we'll find out who's going to win the goodie box. So I'll see you tomorrow and thank you for watching. Bye.